Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Vagabond, episode 2 of my Let's Play. First episode, we, uh, we're in the grass town now. We went and we cleared out, uh, Bee Cave. I don't know what you want to call it. Now we have a quest to go. Well, we have this main quest. We're going to put that aside for now. We got a supplier problem quest. Bring eight linen threads to mine in Hard Tundra. If I remember correctly, Hard Tundra is north. I think. Let's go out here. Um, so this is the this is the cave we cleared out last episode. We are not fully healthy right now. We do have some food though. Helps if you cross the bridge, Looch. So let's head north here. Let's eat some more food. Get our health. Oh, these bats are coming. Those bats are really aggressive, man. They saw me and they're like, I want to eat that guy. This one, not so much. We're still going to pay the price. Looks like we got some food here. Some onion seeds and some onions. Got some mushrooms. Um, Actually, <laughs> I'm just, I should check the sign. I'm just assuming Hard Hunters North. I don't actually know that it is. It is, okay. As is the Dark City. Or is it the Dark City Hard Tundra? Or is it two different things? We'll find out. We got this bandit camp. I'm not, I don't think I'm ready for the bandits yet. I mean, maybe I am, but I'm not sure what happens if you die. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not particularly interested in finding out right now. <laughs> um, so, yeah, let's not do that. All right, so we got some more food here, some mushrooms. This is food. This is food, right? Zucchini. Okay. Oh, we got another cave here. Big Bee's Lair. Can I kill these cows? Yep, okay. Oh, wow, we get a bunch of stuff. Leather, steaks. Oh. Um, I want, can we milk them for, for, uh, milk, I wonder? Some chickens over there. Oh, what are this? Some kind of berries. Looks like. Yep, strawberries. Nice. Um, all right. I, <laughs> there's an eggplant over there. I've kind of lost sight of my goal. <laughs> let's go, let's go to Hard Tundra. Um, We'll go in BB's layer, but first I want to, I'm assuming Hard Tundra is probably just a little further north here. And I mean, that's an assumption that could be wrong. Oh, there's another layer. Zib Zigzine's cave. All right, so where's Hard Tundra now? North. Okay. So yes, the Dark City is a different place. Because I'm kind of thinking maybe, wow, there's a lot of caves here. Um, I was thinking that there'd be a quest in Hard Tundra to clear out one of these caves. Um, is this another bandit camp? Okay, we got another bandit camp. Got some evil eyes. Hard Tundra is far away. Oh my goodness. Another another cave. Clear out. Um I feel like I was gonna say I'm I might even go the right way because this doesn't look like tundra. This is like volcanic ash and stuff, which is definitely not tundra, right? I really wish there was like a zoom between those two. All right, so here we are in Hard Tundra. Let's, uh, who are we going to need to meet? Mine? Mine was the person's name I need to meet. Right, let's clear any food out of these crates. So, like, you can't steal anything from people's houses, but these crates outside, you're allowed to just take whatever it appears. Just then, Ellis, Don, Rebelo. Well, what is it that I'm taking? It's like fiber or whatever, linen thread. So it's probably, person is probably in the Taylor place, which is right up north of me. Ooh, some more zucchini. I will take that. And hopefully mine is in here. There's mine. All right, perfect. You're listening. That's good. Give. Uh, and then thread. Eight. Give. It was very kind of Marie to provide me some supplies. I couldn't work anymore because of the lack of raw material. Here's your money for the trip. I didn't notice how much money I got. But it's some. Um, train. Is there any... Do you have any free things that I can take right now? It doesn't look like it. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So let's... uh. Leave here. Let's see if we can find some quests to do. 
Um, background jobs, rumors. I bought a chest from Dole last week. It was a really fine piece of work. I hear he's looking for an apprentice if you're interested. I think, in my experience so far, random people don't really do quests. Um, the people in, like, the shops have given me quests. So where are the other shops? The carpenter's down here. The inn's up there. We got the blacksmith and the alchemist up that way. All right, so let's go down to the carpenter first. See if they give me a quest. Hoping they do, but if they don't, that's fine. What's up, Doe? How may I help you? Um, doesn't look like he has a quest. Carpentry train? Can you train me in anything? Ooh, 500 to learn how to make an anvil. We're going to need that eventually. All right, none of those are free. Uh, how much money do I have? 225, not enough. What's up, Nabby? Let me introduce Yeah, let me introduce myself. I am Nabby and I live in Hair Tundra. Yes. That is not really news <laughs> to me. That's okay. All right. Uh, what do we got in here? Leodery does not appear to have a quest. Okay. We're going to move on. We're just looking for quests here. And the other two shops are up north. If I remember correctly, we might do a little shopping too. All right, let's check the alchemist place. Box. Oh, I did not mean to <laughs> click on the enchanter by mistake. Hold still. <laughs> join the mages guild. If you want to join us in the mages guild and get introduced into magic, you'll need to prove yourself worthy. Not just anyone can be a mage. Be sure of that. Let's start by seeing if you're resourceful. I need you to go get me some magical ingredients. Okay. So we got that. Water element. That is not a quest. I can give him stuff. I don't think I have a quest for him, though. Um, Anything I should pick up here? No, we need to level up our stuff first. Before we can do any of that. Okay. So what does he want me to get for the Mages Guild? Bring four eggplants to Hunox. How many eggplants do I have? Do I have any? I have one eggplant. All right. So eggplants are magical. I'm just going to leave that one alone. I'm not even going to make a joke about the shape of an eggplant. Um, are you? No, you are not the blacksmith. You are. Oh, here's some multiple quests. Multiple quests. Can you bring these copper ingots to us? Carlo, my colleague in Northbrook. Highwayman stole his last supplies. I can do that. An armor for my child. Tomorrow's my son, Stan's 16th birthday, and I'm offering him a plate armor. There's a lot that still needs to be done, and I'm running out of tin ingot. If you bring me some, I will make you a little something out of what remains of the ingots. Accept. And, oh, we have still have one more quest. Do you know how I could woo Ellie? I tried writing her poems, but she does not seem to appreciate it. Maybe a gift would please her? I have those nice flowers I grew up in my garden. Do you mind giving these to her? I'm too shy to do it myself. In return, I promise to give you a little something. Sure. And where's Northbrook? West. Northbrook is west. All right, let's eat and eat so we can heal a little bit more. All right, so Ellie. Where is Ellie? <laughs> I believe, I think Ellie's probably here. Right? Bring the flower to Ellie. Okay, so, oh, nope. That is not Ellie. That's probably not Ellie. Uh, oh, is that? That's Ellis. <laughs> not who? Who's L E? Right? Yes. Okay. Who is that? That just went in here. Oh, that is Zacubins. Oh, this is a quest. Every year it's the same. No one wants to be in charge of the meal for the party, and I too always try to avoid being chosen. Is that Ellie? No. This year, however, I failed and asked me to pair some potato pies. I don't have enough potato in my garden. You do me a favor and find some for me. I can try. Nabby, no, I don't see Ellie. Yeah, Alice again. <laughs> Dan's house, Nabby's house. And I mean, maybe Ellie doesn't live here? It's possible, I guess, right? I don't see her house. 
Maybe they don't. Maybe Ellie doesn't live here. All right, so let's go. Let's go clear out one of these caves. Because I'm not seeing Ellie anywhere. And I keep getting stuck on stuff because I'm trying to look around. All right, so yeah, there was all these caves down that we passed. I want to go clear out at least one of these caves. Should probably stay in the road. All right, so how tough are these evil eyes, I wonder? Yeah, let's just go in the cave. That way we don't have to find out. Two caves here. Boo hoo hoo's chasm. <laughs> All right, not much going on yet. Nothing to harvest, nothing to kill. Yeah, those look like ghosts. I have a bad feeling these might be tough. Yeah, hit me for seven. That's not too bad. Okay, took three hits. Let's zoom in so we can hopefully do better at not getting hit. Nope. Ooh, that one hit hard. Getting some ectoplasm. Okay, we got something to mine here. Good old coal. Oh, you know what? I got that quest for 10. I probably could have just done that one. Yeah, I probably should have done that while I was there. Oh, well. Got a silver vein here. Oh, and that reminds me. I said I was going to turn down this sound volume, sound, because of this, that little tank sound. Um, somebody mentioned in the comments that it was a little annoying, and I get it. I do have my in-game sounds turned down, like, on my end pretty low, so I don't have to deal with it. All right, got some more. I don't think you can go this way, right? No. So this way it is. Get my knife back out. Ooh, lots to, lots to harvest here relatively healthy. I'm not like in any threat of death at the moment. But I am getting low on those mushrooms. I do have other food I can eat, but I'd rather I'd rather just eat those mushrooms if possible. Copper. Ah. That was a big hit I took there. And probably unnecessary. I mean I guess probably every hit is unnecessary if you're <laughs> if you're good. I do want to try the spear. Or the bow, one of the other weapons that, you know, you don't have to be. Because this dagger, right, just <laughs> doesn't have much range, right? you got to be right next to the enemy to, to hit them. So you get hit sometimes, like that. All right, so at least we found some mushrooms. We're not out of mushrooms yet, which is good. But like I said, I got I got other, uh, got other food I can eat as well. There's going to be at least one chest in here somewhere. Generally, that's the case, I guess. I guess I don't know. That's an assumption. I'm assuming there's at least one chest in every cave. But I don't know. <laughs> Assumptions are dangerous. All right, so yeah, I'm good on mushrooms again for a while. That's where I came in, right over there. So there was not much up that way. Oh. Harvest this stuff. We got uh, get some iron. We got some tin. And okay, so this is where we were. But I don't think I went. Yeah, so we moved down around this way. Oh, this will harvest this copper while I'm here. It looks like there's something over here as well I can harvest. Or mine. I guess the game calls it harvesting technically. Well, I will too. All right, so that whole... <laughs> Northern branch of the cave was a waste of time, but that's fine. And, okay. Kill some ghosties here. Perfect. Get another mushroom. Get another shroom. Get some more ghosts to kill. We got an earth ghost. Water ghost. And we're fairly healthy. We got lots of shrooms. Everything is going well at the moment, but there will be a boss ghost kind of at some point here. This is not it. This is a fire ghost. Drop the fire moat. But like like the the name of the cave, right, was like blah blah blah's lair or chasm or whatever. So that 
name is like a named enemy that we're going to have to kill at some point. And maybe I already did and I just didn't notice. That is possible. Did I miss anything over here? I have to go back. I have to go back that way to get out anyway. So if I did, I'll be able to find out. Oh, here, here's Boo Hoo Hoo Hoo. Although the named ones, they're not really, they don't seem to be any tougher, right? It's weird. All right, so the chest is probably around here then. Yeah, there's the chest. You can see it down in the bottom right, right here. Let's go see what we got in here. Just wait, just wait. Ah! Clear this thing out. Ooh, that was close. We didn't even, I didn't even take damage there. That was good. All right. We got a hood. Let's just take it. We got a steel pickaxe. Two to six damage. Well, last I checked, that's better than two to two damage. <laughs> Probably. And we got a mode of air. All right. So our current linen hood is four defense. This one is three defense and two water defense. Um... I think for just straight up defense is probably better actually. All right, so I believe that is the whole cave, probably. I'd like to get a better weapon soon. I'm still just rolling with this bronze dagger, right? Be nice to get even a tin one at this point. Or no, bronze is probably better than tin. Likely. All right, but hey, we upgraded um, my pick. I think I might just harvest some of the stone just to kind of test it. Oh, yeah, five damage at one, one shot of it. Oh, yeah, I like this. Sign me up for this. Okay, nice. All right, and the exit is up here, if memory serves. Yes. All right, so I'm going to clear out the other cave that's, like, right here. I'm just scared, like, one of these caves is going to be, like, way harder than the others, right? Okay, so this is Evil Eyes, which I am not sure how strong they are. We're about to find out. Okay, so, yeah, killed it in three hits, so same as Ghost, roughly. Oh, killed that one in two hits. One shot the coal, beautiful. All right, let's kill the evil eyes first, and then we'll do some mining. All right, my melee weapon increased to 14. I wonder if I'm getting close to the point of being able to use talents. Talents. Oh, I, had, I do have a talent point. All right, so defense is increased by 20%. Melee weapon damage is increased by 20%. Bow damage is increased by 20%. We could also do magic. We could do feed. We could do gatherer. Damage on resources, but I think I just want to do melee weapon damage at this point for my talent point. So how do I actually get talent points? It's just when you hit like level 10, I wonder, because I hit level 14 there. I don't know. I don't know when you get the talent points. That is not clear to me. All right, but it, yeah, it's so nice being able to mine this stuff way faster. Yeah, this pickaxe is quite an upgrade. Although that gold, gold still took a while. All right, so let's go down this way. See what we see. Looks like some more evil eyes. Oh, yep. Yeah, nope. The damage was definitely the damage increase is definitely noticeable. And I missed the mushroom. Yeah, remember when I was like getting low on mushrooms a little while ago? <laughs> oh. Got hit there. Get hit. Ooh, wow. That one was not playing around. Or maybe I just did bad. Maybe I should have been zoomed in. I feel like it's much easier to do combat when you're zoomed in, but it's much easier to see where you're going when you're zoomed out. All right, so there's the chest. Uh, go over. Let's kill all these. Get the chest, and then... On our way out, we'll do we'll mine on our way out. Yeah, extra damage from that talent is definitely noticeable. All right, so that was likely the one that was a different color. I believe was like the, the boss or whatever. We got some hide spalders of infernal life. 
and some fire motes. All right, so we currently have nothing in our shoulder slot. So there we go. And now we have some hide spalders of Infernal Life. Ooh, it has 5.8% reflect damage. I mean, that's still probably largely trivial, but if we can start stacking that up, like these are, you know, orange text, right? Which, if it uses the typical color scheme for rarity, means these are like legendary quality, right? How much were they worth? 88, yeah. That's a decent price. So I guess my question I'm wondering now is like, do the enemies in the caves ever get stronger? Right? Because, like, how far away do we have to go? Like we've This is where we started. We've gone through a few regions, right? And the enemies still seem to be the same strength as, like, the first cave, right? So I'm just curious. And I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Probably. <laughs> Probably to my detriment. Find out the hard way <laughs> that there are higher level enemies at some point. All right, clear these guys out. Um, wasn't there one more over here? Yeah, actually, let's do the mining first. Oh, no, he's coming. I probably should clear him out. Hey, come here. Come here. Hey, hey, you. Hey, you. Eyeball. This way. There. Thank you. All right, so we got some gold, we got some copper. Man, those go even with my better pick, the gold still takes a long time. All right, so zoom out. Let's see. Oh, there's something up here. Pin, maybe. Let's get that. That's a dead end. Get these mushrooms. We can never have too many mushrooms. Yeah, I'm on the all mushroom. The all cave mushroom died at this point, basically. But hey, it works. That's all that matters. I'm relatively healthy, 86 of 100. Bring it on, evil eyes. Or I guess technically they're just eyeballs, they're not evil eyes. And okay. Bring it on, sucker. Another dead end, looks like. Oh, it's where we came in. Crap. Okay, so let's go down, because I believe there's still a path down here. Maybe. That I didn't hit. Although, I've, eh, I've already gotten the chest. Nope. Eh, there's nothing there. Crap. Oh, so that was a waste of time. <laughs> Not a big deal, though. So that is a dead end. But if we go here, we can get out. All right, so we're going to go back to the town. And we're going to make some ingots we're going to finish that quest for the tin ingots right i forget how many it is um this one right five extra tin ingots yeah i can definitely make five tin ingots if i don't already have five tin ingots which i might and the exit is over here good thing i don't get lost right <laughs> kind of Bandit camp. Do I want to try to clear up the bandit camp yet? I'm still scared. I don't know. For some reason, the bandit camps are timid. In my, in my head, for whatever reason, and it could be for no good reason whatsoever, the bandit camps are going to be stronger. And again, I don't I don't know why. All right, so see if we can find Ellie. I'm starting to think she doesn't live here, though. Like I said, there's Ellis, and maybe it's a typo. Maybe it is supposed to be that person. Doesn't have the give option, so if, if, if it was them, we would have the give option. What's the person that lives in here's name? Oh, it's locked. Why is it locked? Oh, I was going to say it's 11 in the morning. Why are they closed? That's weird. All right, so we got a level of blacksmithing up here. So... Copper ingot, or, or tin ingot, um, coal, tin ore, let's make 10 of these. Oh yeah, we're up to level 4 metal smithing, 
that's it. Okay. And copper ingot. Yeah, max those out. Make 12 of those. Hopefully get a few more levels. Yep, there's a five in smithing. And level six. No. <laughs> it was not to be. Alright, but we got 10 tin ingots, so we can definitely finish this quest. Give. So you have to click to split. We only want to give them five because that's how many we need for the quest. Give. That gave. So we got a tin Dicurian helmet. I'm so glad to be able to finish my gift in time. My son will be thrilled. As promised, you can come by tomorrow. I think I will be able to make you a Dicurian helmet. So wait, did you already give it to me or not? Yeah, you did. 11 defense. That's better than four defense. <laughs> Obviously. Can I sell this excess armor to you? Will you take this stuff? Yep. Okay. Um, don't need this pickaxe anymore. Don't need these pants. Price of two. Definitely, definitely worth it. Um, so what do we got here? So my dagger. Oh, it does five to nine damage. That's not bad. That one's three to six. That one's two to five. So obviously what we have is better. Two to three damage axe. Three to three damage axe. It is better than my two to two. It's also like a hundred bucks. Like some shoes. I don't have any shoes. It's only 36 bucks. For nine defense. Seems good. So now at least we have something in every slot, right? Which is good. All right. And we're out of here. So we need to go to. Um, okay, so we need one potato. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have one potato. For some reason, I was thinking they wanted, like, many potatoes. Where is Zabukins, though? <laughs> right here. Ah, I hit the wrong button. I accidentally... <laughs> it was only a matter of time to do that, because it's, like, right-click to interact and left-click to attack. And maybe if I just let him... Go. Oh, he's still, <laughs> he's still all in a tither. Well, at least he didn't like run to the guards. Okay, it looks like he's calm now. All right, so right click, loots. Right click. Give. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have a potato. Wait, did I? Eat? I ate my potatoes that I had, didn't I? Because I had like five of them and I ate them. That's right, too. Um, so, yeah, I don't actually have any potatoes. Unfortunate. Okay. Goodbye. All right, so I need to find a potato. I need to do many things. But I do believe that's going to be all for this episode. I'm going to try to keep them under half an hour. I know episode one was like 40 minutes. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and the link... In the description down below, sorry, you will find links to my Discord and my Patreon. We'd love to have more people in my Discord. And I would definitely appreciate any support through Patreon. Most importantly, though, folks, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.